So this time I've added a couple masses to this car and by doing so I've effectively doubled its mass. So the yellow car has twice as much mass as the blue car or uh, car one has double the mass of car two. But once again, I'm going to push them towards each other and I'm gonna to try to do that at equal velocities. Uh, I want you to pay special attention to their, what they're doing right before the collision and what they're doing right after the collision. So here we go on three, two, one, go. Okay, so you probably noticed that uh, after the collision, the blue car shoots off at a very high velocity and the yellow car moves backwards at a very slow velocity. So let's look at the before and after here. Um, the before situation, the yellow car was moving to the right, so we know it had a positive momentum and it has a very large mass. So I'm gonna represent that as a big M. Uh, and it was moving at some velocity, which wasn't very, very large. So I'll show that as a little V. And if I look at the blue car, that's our car two. I know I have to add its momentum up. And so it was moving in the negative direction. So we're gonna say it has a negative mass times some velocity, right? And so I left that mass as a smaller number because it is the less massive car. And it was moving at an equal velocity as the yellow car, but they were just moving in opposite directions. So if you were to compare this to the last demo, can we say that these two momentums add up to zero again? So if you look at this, it actually is clear that they don't add up to zero. So in which direction was the larger momentum overall? It was actually the direction of the yellow car. Because remember, although they both moved at the same velocity, this yellow car had much more mass. And so if you add this number plus this number, what I know is I'm gonna get some kind of positive number that's greater than zero because there's more momentum coming from this car than there is from this car.